The Crudus Aviana, or simply the Crude, known to the Imperium as Crude Carnivores, are a fascinating and deadly Xeno species, which are integral members of the Tao Empire. Hailing from the rugged and forested world of Peck, the Crude are highly adaptable species with a unique evolutionary biology rooted in their avian ancestry. Standing a good half a meter taller than most humans, which means they are on average 7 feet tall, the Crude are humanoid in form, but with bird-like beaks, long head quills, and sleek body frames. Crude biology is a marvel of evolution, an intricate system honed over millennia to allow them to not just survive, but thrive in a galaxy teeming with threads. Their wiry, powerful bodies are covered in rough skin, interspersed with small bob spines, the remnants of feathers from their evolutionary ancestors. The most extraordinary aspect of a crude biology lies in their method of evolution, a process that is as gruesome as it is effective. Crude evolve by consuming the flesh of their enemies, absorbing genetic traits and incorporating them into their own genome. This unique ability allows the crude to rapidly adapt to new challenges. But for this, the shapers are needed. These are the leaders of the crude kindreds and they are required for this genetic legacy. They possess an innate ability to discern the desirable traits within the flesh of their fallen enemies, guiding their kindreds in what to consume to shape their evolution. Through the Shaper's wisdom, crude warbands across the galaxy often exhibit radically different physical characteristics, each adapted to their specific environment or the demands of their contracts. This consumption of enemies is deeply tied to the crude spiritual beliefs. To them, eating the flesh of a warrior is a sacred act, a means of preserving the warrior's spirit and strength. This ritualistic consumption extends to their own dead, effectively making them cannibals. However, this process is not without its dangers. A misjudgment in what is consumed can lead to an evolutionary dead end, locking a kindred or a crude clan into forms that they lose their intelligence and become more beast-like than warrior. And from these miscalculated approaches comes the different subspecies. So let's take a look at 10 of the main ones, including the crude. Let's begin with the crude ox. The crude ox is a hulking brutish variant of a crude, a result of a kindred's overindulgence in the flesh of exceptionally muscular and barbaric bees. These creatures have grown far beyond the size and strength of their smaller crude cousins, their massive bodies covered in thick, corded muscles. Standing on two legs, a crude ox is a towering figure, but they often move around on all fours, their knuckles dragging across the floor in a manner reminiscent of the great gorillas of old earth. Their skin is rough and leathery, a model blend of greens and browns that allow them to blend into the dense forest of their home world of Peck. Their faces, while bearing the avian beak-like structure common to all crude, they also have a brutish, almost simian quality. The elongated quills that crown their heads and run down their spines are thicker and more rigid than those of the other crude. Despite their appearance, crude dogs are not inherently aggressive creatures. They are herbivores by nature, content to graze on the floor of Peck or any other world they are on. The second one, the crude hound. Crude hounds are another evolutionary offshoot of the crude, formed when a kindred consume too many quadrupedal animals, leading to a permanent shift in their physiology. Unlike the towering crude ox, crude hounds are smaller, they are quadrupedal creatures, their wiry frames reminiscent of large predatory dogs, they are fast and agile, their lean bodies built for hunting and war, their skin like that of all the crude is tough and covered with bob spines, while their face is bare the same beaked underbite of their crude kin, giving them a fearsome and ugly visage. Although their spines are a series of sensory ganglia running and providing them with an incredible sensitivity to their surroundings, this also makes the crude hounds excellent hunters and trackers and sentinels, capable of detecting even the stealthiest of enemies long before they draw near. Crude hounds are highly intelligent creatures, able to understand and follow complex orders, but their temperamental nature makes them difficult to control. In the wild, crude hounds hunt in packs, like wolves, using their agility and powerful jaws to bring down prey much larger than themselves. Number 3. The Narlock The Narlock is another subspecies which has reached an evolutionary dead end. These creatures are primarily carnivorous predators, 
In the wild, Narlocks typically operate in packs of up to 10 individuals, including their young, exhibiting a remarkable degree of teamwork and coordination. Physically, Narlocks are characterized by their powerful muscular bodies designed for endurance and speed. Their sharp beak-like mouths and razor-sharp claws allow them to tear through flesh and bone with ease, making these very fearsome predators. Their legs are really powerful, enabling them to leap great distances and close the gap on fleeing prey. Despite their size, Narlocks are agile and swift, able to outmaneuver through the dense jungles of Peck with ease. The brain-to-body ratio of the Narlock is significantly higher than that of some of its larger relatives, which allows them for more complex behaviors and tactics, particularly in pack hunting scenarios. Number 4. The Great Narlock So this is a massive solitary predator, far larger and more imposing than its smaller kin. Native to Peck, these behemoths are domesticated by the crude and serve various roles, from beasts of burden to powerful assault creatures in the heat of battle. Despite its size, the Great Narlock is deceptively agile and possesses incredible stamina, allowing it to cover great distances at a relentless pace. Physically, the Great Narlocks are built for power. Their bulky frame are supported by a lightweight skeletal structure, which while appearing fragile, actually enhances its speed and endurance. The creature's small vestigial forearms are not used for combat. Instead, its primary weapons are its massive jaws and powerful hind legs, which allow it to deliver devastating charges against their enemies. Though the Great Narlocks' eyesight is poor, it compensates this with an acute sense of smell and hearing, aided by long tendrils at the back of its head that acts as sensory organs. These adaptations make the Great Narlock an efficient tracker, which is capable of pursuing prey over long distances. There is also the creature's Nymune organ, which allows it to achieve short bursts of incredible speed, like an extra pack of adrenaline glands. Number 5. The Crude Hawk The Crude Hawk, or also known as Crudus Accipita, are majestic and predatory birds native to the crude homeworld of Peck. They are a key figure in crude mythology and rituals, often seen as symbols of the crude avian ancestry, and as one of their primal progenitors. The crude hawk is a powerful and agile raptor, equipped with sharp talons and a very strong hooked beak. Its plumage varies from dark model browns to greys and also other colors, providing effective camouflage against the varied environments of their homeworld. These crude hawks are revered by the crude, who create totems in their honor and use them in ancestor worship rituals. These totems are believed to provide foresight and wisdom, reflecting the bird's revered status among the crude. Number 6. The Crutor The Crutor is an imposing and grotesque evolutionary dead end for the crude species, adapted to life in swampy aquatic environments of Asphodel, another planet. Descending from crude that incorporate the genes of aquatic reptilian predators, these creatures are large, quadrupedal, and adapted to both land and water. Their bodies are thick and robust, covered in tough, scaly hides that are well suited for swampy terrain. The crudor's limbs are short and end in hooked claws, perfect for gripping and maneuvering through the swampy undergrowth. Their tails are thick and powerful, aiding in propulsion in both water and on land. The crudor's head is a notable feature, with a wide elongated mouth that resembles a larger version of the crude's beak. This mouth is lined with serrated teeth and equipped with venomous glands. The venom is highly potent, capable of killing very quickly or inducing a slow, painful death from poisoning. Their eyes are adapted to see well underwater, but they can also detect movement on land. Crutor are primarily aquatic, spending most of their time submerged and moving silently through the murky waters. But still, they are a dead end in the evolutionary line. Number 7. The Vulture Kindred These crude have evolved to possess small functional wings which is a testament to their consumption of winged predators and their genetic traits. The wings are not large enough for sustained flight, but are adapted for short glides and quick descents. The vulture kindred's appearance reflects that of their avian heritage. They are typically covered in feathers, with a coloration that helps them to blend with the forest canopy, with shades of dark brown, grey and black. Their bodies are lean and agile, with long limbs adapted for climbing and jumping. Their beaks have evolved to be more pronounced, resembling the hooked beaks of vultures. 
and their eyes are sharp and keen, adapted to spotting prey from high above and even in the undergrowth. Number 8. The Crude Worm The crude worm is a parasitic subspecies that resembles a large worm-like creature. These creatures are believed to be infesting the bodies of larger predators, feeding on their host's flesh while slowly assimilating their genetic material. But then they are still a dead end in the evolutionary line. Crude worms are highly dangerous and are avoided by most crude as they can infest even their own kindred even if given the opportunity. Some crudes use them as biological weapons, releasing them into enemy ranks to wreak havoc. Number 9. The Green Crude Crude who have undergone a significant transformation after consuming a diet primarily consisting of orc flesh, green skin flesh, as well as their fungal diet which of course includes the squigs. These kind of crudes are called the green crude. They have evolved into a distinct subspecies characterized by their green skin with their increased muscle mass and boisterous demeanor. This remarkable change reflects the crude's ability to adapt and integrate the genetic traits of their prey, resulting in a unique and formidable variant known colloquially as the green crude. These exhibit a more aggressive and robust frame with very pronounced muscle definition and broader, more imposing stance. These crude also exhibit a boisterous, aggressive nature reflecting the warlike and confrontational nature of their orc prey. And of course, number 10, the crude. The standard crude are the humanoid species with avian and reptilian features characterized by their elongated limbs, beak-like mouths and quills protruding from their heads. They are known for their exceptional tracking and hunting skills. The crude are often employed as mercenaries by the Tao Empire and the other factions, using their keen senses and adaptability in battle. They evolve by consuming the flesh of their enemies, incorporating useful traits into their genetic codes. With the help of shapers, these normal crude are still able to evolve further into other forms. The crude carnivores are the basic infantry for the crude and mercenaries and auxilia for the Tau Empire and are essentially just the baseline crude phenotype described in the beginning of the video. These are the ones that are still actively evolving with their shapers, guiding their evolution through a methodic approach that is in line with their age-old traditions, beliefs and a growing necessity of the hour. So if you like this video then watch this other one too and if you want to browse for other sci-fi and warhammer content then check out our channel. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Till the next time, take care boys.